assalamu alaikum everyone in the previous video we are we have talked about head folding and what structures are formed in that region so today in this video we will learn about the tail folding so without any delay let's start the lecture what uh, i have drawn here i have drawn uh, a, the clinical uh, or, this picture is actually drawn in the klm uh, what we have here we have a um, an embryo divided in the uh, median plane being divided the median plane and this is the head region and this is the tail region and this is a lateral view of the embryo being divided into the uh, median plane so and the tail region is being magnified here this is the magnified view of the tail region of the um, uh, embryo so what we have in the and this is a before folding magnified view and this is after folding magnified view this is the dorsal view and this is the ventral view i'm giving you the idea about the um, different axis so you can judge easily what we have here is the, uh, the above them is the neural tube or neural fold as in case we have uh, as in the same case we have uh, uh, talk about in the head folding okay this is the neural tube the red one is the notochord this black is the primitive streak this portion is mem the cloacal membrane this is different in head uh, 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 tail folding because uh, as in case of head folding the membrane present is the oropharyngeal membrane or buccopharyngeal membrane and uh, same as that of buccopharyngeal membrane the cloacal membrane is formed from two germ layers the ectoderm and endoderm in dono ki fusion ke wajah se ye cloacal membrane banti and there is no mesoderm present here so this is cloacal membrane a connecting stalk and an allantois which is an out pouching or also called as diverticulum which is formed on the caudal end of the umbilical vesicle uh, which moves into the connecting stalk okay so this is what we have uh, in the tail end okay uh, acha what happens uh, during a uh, folding at the so let's start uh, writing the number one step is the at the beginning beginning of fourth week the caudal end of neural tube forms primordia of spinal cord just in the case i am comparing the tail folding with the head folding just to memorize it or uh, uh, what happens in the head folding the neural tube the caudal the cranial end of the neural tube forms the forebrain primordia of forebrain but here the caudal end of the neural tube forms the primordia of spinal cord so this is the first step which is occurring during folding okay what is the what is the second step in the tail folding as the embryo grows the caudal eminence caudal eminence means caudal projection caudal end ki projection eminence projects over the cloacal membrane what is this step saying that during folding or, or when the folding is going on the caudal end of the neural tube this is the neural tube we have labeled earlier this is the neural tube the caudal end of the neural tube projects over the cloacal membrane so that the cloacal membrane can move easily towards the ventral side as you can see it is present in the dorsally and more caudally uh the allantois is present more caudally but during folding or after folding the allantois here and the cloacal membrane moves ventrally and uh, more cranially so this is how folding is going on as in case of head folding the uh, the cranial fold or the um, projection in the head region projects over hangs over the um, primordial heart as we have uh, 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 as you i have taught you earlier so in this case the caudal eminence of the neural tube projects over the cloacal membrane so this is the second step of the tail folding what is happening in the third step during folding 
part of endoderm gets incorporated part of endoderm of umbilical vesicle sorry umbilical vesicle gets incorporated into the into the embryo called the forming the hindgut which is primordia primordia of descending colon okay so this step is um, is showing that during folding as you can see this is the umbilical vesicle and this is the amniotic sac and between them the germ layers are present and the folding is going on at this germ disc because this germ disc is form, going to form the embryoblast and the trophoblast and the, from the embryoblast a whole embryo is going to form so here the germ which is the germ this is this process is going on the germ disc the tail end of the germ disc so what is going on during folding this hole is here is present the endoderm the umbilical vesicle is present here so what has happening during folding of the, the tail end some part of the uh, endoderm of the umbilical vesicle get incorporated into the embryo thus forming the hindgut as in as we have learned earlier during head folding the part of endoderm of the umbilical vesicle that gets incorporated during head folding form is forming the forebrain uh, so but, but here it is forming the hindgut as it is going on the at the head, uh, tail region so this is the third step what is going on the fourth step the terminal part of hindgut dilates and form cloaca cloaca which is rudiment of urinary bladder and rectum so the terminal part so as you can see in the diagram the terminal part of the hindgut gets dilated and form the cloaca and what is the cloaca forming cloaca is actually the rudiment of urinary bladder in the future okay so this is what happening in the tail folding the structures which are present caudally and dorsally gets folded and towards the more ventral end and towards uh, or you can say more cranially so so this is all from my side thank you very much if you have any query or any question regarding this video or if you have any uh, request to mail you can uh, you can uh, may you may ask in the uh, comment section thank you very much